to 0 to 1 dx and put the value of the generating function which is 1 over 1 plus t square minus 2tx square root and this thing we know that it is equal to summation on n from 0 to infinity integral from 0 to 1 dx and p n of x and t n because we have written gx of t are this generating function gx of t is this generating function which is equal to this so as i integrated this one so i wrote for the pn of x and tn and summation and then the integration so it is the same thing and this is equal this thing is equal as i have supposed that integral from 0 to 1 dx pn of x I will call is i n. So I can write that summation n from 0 to infinity. And for dx pn of x I can write i n. And t n will come as it is. So now if I find this integral then this integral is equal to this and the tn coefficients are i n and i n's are actually p n's. So p n is my requirement to find out. So let's start with this integral and i g is equal do integrate this one and when we integrate this one, the integration is minus 1 over t. It is a simple integral. And with a little supposition, we can write that this is 1 plus t square minus 2tx. And this is from 0 to, from 1 to 0, just reciprocating. And if I put the values 0 and 1, I will have minus 1 over t and this is 1 plus t square minus 2t because x I put is our integration is on x so 1 plus t square will come for x I will put first 0 and then 1 so the first I am writing this reciprocating because I introduce the minus I will adjust the minus sign so minus 2t and minus 1 plus t square is x is equal to 0 so this thing is equal to minus 1 over t and 1 minus t minus 1 plus t square square root. Now I know that this is 1 minus t whole square. So square and square root will cancel and I got 1 minus t while this is 1 plus t squared and I know that t is less than or equal to 1 this is t so it is less than or equal to 1 now if we expand ig if we expand ig in terms of power series and t then the coefficients of t n are actually the desired ins because ig is equal to this so if i find means this series is now equal to this 
So if I expand this in terms of n, then what I will get? I will get i naught t to the power 0 plus i1 t to the power 1 plus i2 t to the power 2 and plus i3 t to the power 3 plus i4 t to the power 4 and so on. So now t to the power 0 is actually going to 1 while t to the power 1 will go to t and similarly t2, t3 and so on. So i not i1, i2, i3, i4 are actually my pn's because I have supposed them is equal to pn's and this is something that I am going to find out. Now forget about this one minus t but just take out this one 1 plus t square and I know that if I write 1 plus x square root when x is less than or equal to 1 then I can expand this with the help of the binomial theorem this is 1 plus x over 2 plus 1 over 2 factorial 1 over 2 and 1 over 2 minus 1 which will make this minus 1 over 2 and x to the power 2 plus 1 over 3 factorial then 1 over 2 then minus 1 over 2 and then minus 3 over 2 is 1 over 2 minus 2 and this will become x cubed and so on and its generalized form I can write is equal to 1 minus summation on k which is running from 1 to infinity and 2k minus 3 double factorial double factorial I have explained in the previous lecture and 2k double factorial minus 1 to the power k and x to the power k this is the generalized form of 1 plus x square root and if I put my expression that x is equal to t square then I will get 1 plus t this is equal to ig then so ig is equal to minus 1 over t 1 minus t minus put the generalized form so this is minus 1 and plus summation on k runs from 1 up to infinity 2k minus 3 double factorial by 2k double factorial minus 1 k and t so x to the power k and t is squared here so it will become t 2k and this thing is equal so just enclose this and this is equal to I know here that 1 and 1 are going to cancel and if I just multiply this t inside so we will get minus and minus become plus and t t becomes 1 so we got 1 and then minus plus minus and we got 1 over t here so when 1 over t come here then this will become 2k minus 1 so it is minus summation on k runs from 1 up to infinity 
2k minus 3 and double factorial divide by 2k double factorial minus 1 to the power k and t to the power 2k minus 1 and this thing we know that this is equal to summation on n runs from 0 to infinity and i n t to the power n and now we are very close now to find the i n's so i will expand this series and i will expand this series this series i will expand in n and i will get something like this while this series i will expand in k and i will get the t powers so when the t power is zero i will have to start from when k is one then i will get here whatever i will get here i will do calculate but this one is important when k is equal to one so i got two and then k is one so i got t power one so t power one is i one so it means that all this will be equal means excluding one all this will be actually equal to i1 and then i can find i2 so look here when k is equal to 2 then i will get because k is running from 1 to infinity when k will be 2 then i will get 4 minus 1 so i will get t to the power 3 and t to the power 3 is here but t to the power 2 is absent similarly t to the power 4 is absent here because the next term will be 2 into 3 and 6 minus 1 is 5 so t5 is there while t4 is absent so i see that i4 will go to 0 i2 will go to 0 what about t to the power 0 when t is when the n is with us 0 here so we got t to the power 0 and when this whole term becomes 0 means this series is starting from t to the power 1 so it means that our i naught will be equal to 1 so the only even term that we have here means i naught i naught is equal to 1 while i1 is we will have to calculate that what is i1 while i2 we know that it is 0 because we are not getting any coefficient of t2 and i3 we will have to calculate i4 we calculated that it should be 0 because we are not getting any t4 here so we will have to calculate here that i1 i not first i not is equal to 1 as we calculated that this one is remaining when this whole is equal to 0 what about i1 so i1 we will have to calculate and do calculate this one it's easy not that difficult when we will have t to the power 1 then we will have i1 so when we will have t to the power 1 when k is 1 then 2 minus 1 is 1 so put k equal to 1 here when we put k equal to 1 then we will get 2 minus 3 so minus 1 double factorial 
by 2 into 1 so 2 double factorial we got k equal to 1 minus 1 from here and this is the variable so we only calculate here and 1 minus is this one so this one is 1 1 over 2 double factorial is 2 so 2 and then we are having 0 factorial which is 1 so this is actually 1 minus 1 over 2 which is 1 over 2 so we got that i1 is 1 over 2 i2 i know that t is not getting any coefficient means we are not getting any t2 so i2 is automatically 0 i2 is equal to 0 what about i3 i3 we will have to calculate now look here when t power will be equal to 3 we will get i3 this all will be i3 so for k equal to 2 we will have 2 into 2 4 4 minus 1 3 so it means when k is equal to 2 then we will get i3 so put k equal to 2 1 minus when k is 2 4 minus 3 1 double factorial by 2 into 2 4 double factorial and then minus 1 2 will become 1 so we got 1 only and this is equal to 1 minus 1 double factorial is 1 while 2 